Oh, I always look forward to a nice hot cup of coffee in the morning. Good morning, y'all. This is the bull. It's a cool, cool, brisky morning today. I'm going to uh, be pulling all the peppers that I have on my uh, on my plants there and. Um, just clean that bed out, pull all the plants out. But this morning, I'm going to be mainly working with my chickens. And um, in my chicken area, where I have it fenced off, in the area I have fenced off there, where I dump a lot of um, wood chips. And I feed them in there. And they're always in there stirring up because the... Uh, the the wood chips draw a lot of a lot of worms and a lot of insects and stuff like that. So those wood chips been sitting there all year, and so now I'm I'm what I'm doing is I'm just moving them over to a you know to a separate side in the same area so they can continue aging. And I'm gonna put some more fresh wood chips in there. And just you know, just keep, keep keep it rotating, keep it rotating, and that soil, those wood chips have broken down a lot now, and they're all nice and black and broken down. And I'm gonna just let them continue breaking down, so that I can use those wood chips. Just come come spring there, because I wanna I wanna grow a lot of watermelons this year. This this new this this spring that's coming up. I'm going to be planting a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in my food forest. So um, just, you know, I'm just piling up the wood chips and having them breaking down. And this is a good source. This is a good source of nutrients for your plants as as just wood chips. And they continue feeding your plants. That's what I like about the wood chips there. When they're half, when they're mainly broke down and you get... Uh, you know, uh, incorporate those into your into the ground, and then they continue breaking down, and they continue feeding your plants. So it's it's, it's a win win for me. So spend a little time with me this morning as I do these projects, and uh, I hope you enjoy your day. All right. These peppers right here, I don't know if they're a cross between the belt pepper and the shishito pepper, but nevertheless, I don't know, they look, they look nice. There's a whole bunch of red shishito peppers there, but I got my freezer full of them. So I'm gonna just leave these ones hanging on here and I'm gonna bring those down to the church ministry garden because I know there's a bunch of people down there that like those shishito peppers. Just get the rest of these small peppers off here. You know, you can dice those up and freeze those up. Can never, can never have too many bell peppers.
This one over here, but is that like this? Got this little blemish on there, but cut that off. This one over here turned red. A couple of jalapeno peppers there. I didn't see you plant. All right, I'm not gonna harvest any of those. Uh, like I said, on Thursday, I'll pick all those um, shishito peppers off, bring them down to the uh, church ministry garden. Go right here, baby. Okay, guys. So as you can see over here, I have my little fenced off area there where I keep all dump, wood chips, leaves, and any type of material that I want to dump in here that'll break down. So on this side over here mainly, and then I dump all of the, um, I clean out the chicken coop and dump that over here pile wood chips on top of it and as you can see how the soil is black as can be over here now from the chickens scratching it all up and just you know time aging on the 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 materials and it breaking down there so as you can see all this this, this these whip chips here right Chicken biting on my hand. So chickens are an amazing creature, you know what I'm saying? They produce eggs. They're friendly. They're fun. Entertainment. They scratch. They're just a working machine. So as this stuff here over here breaks down then I move it over here on this side over here on the other side of the milk crates to continue breaking down over there I always throw um, 
plenty of greens over there so the chickens always have something to eat over here besides you know scratching for worms and bugs and all that so they have greens over here as well and this stuff here over here will continue continue breaking down over here and then as i take this stuff out then i start moving other stuff from over here into over here so it just keep, continues breaking down So I'm here in the chicken coop, here getting all this uh, pine shavings out of here that, uh, you know, all pooped up from the chickens. So we can spread that layer over there, just under all the wood chips there, and draw up a lot of worms and stuff like that. So the, the chickens can continue benefiting from it over there as it uh, breaks down and, and it's a win-win, like I said. So it'll be benefit me, it'll turn into black gold as the chickens over there scratching it, eating up worms and whatnot. And it's on top of the wood chips also breaking down. So get this over there. Get some fresh stuff in here. So it's a win-win for the chickens, and it's a win-win for me, baby. I have a chicken in here that's gone broody about a week ago, or maybe over a little bit a week ago. I kick her out of here about five times a day, <laughs> at least, at least three times a day. I kick her out so she can go out and eat because, you know, I'm trying to break her from being broody, but she is just stubborn. As soon as I leave, she comes running right back in. I don't need her being broody, I need her eggs. Okay, the chicken coop is nice and fresh. Go in here and get these eggs. Uh-uh, ladies. You gotta get up out of here. I need my eggs.
Can I have my eggs? Let me get my eggs. Come on now. What you got in here? You got any other ones in there? How about you over here, baby? Oh yeah, go on, go. Right. I have six eggs here. Four of you are slipping. Four of you are slipping, all right? So, Eleanor, you're in charge now because Ike is gone. You better talk to the other three and yourself. <laughs>